How's life treating you here? Good. I'm enjoying it. A um, little bit different to down south, but like I said, uh, my wife's in, moved up here now, so uh, we're, on the, we're buying a house soon as well, so settled in alright. What's the main differences you found to down south? Um, uh, the people are a little bit nicer. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, no. no. It's just just in football terms, really. Obviously, it was a bit of a step up for me down in the conference coming up to here, and and yeah, that, that was the, the footballing reason. Yeah, that was, uh, and obviously the weather, but the um, yeah, footballing reason was was the big difference. Yeah. How, how do you compare this move? And you see the differences there when you consider you played at playoff finals, etc., uh, and then playing in the top flight here. What was what was the key reason to make the move here when you did? Um, I just think exposure. I mean, like. Obviously, when uh, when you play down south, it's obviously there's there is a lot of players down there, and obviously there are a lot of teams in the conference, and you don't really get a lot of exposure like what you do up here. Um, so I just thought it was a massive opportunity to come up here and just just try and do as well as I can and see where it takes me. Really, how much of a battle do you think you've got to kind of try and get a, a regular start? Oh yeah, I, uh, yeah. Everyone's got a battle to keep me to last. That's what the gaffer's done this. Uh, in pre-season, brought in players that are fighting for places, which is good. Really, we, we all want, we all want to be fighting, and we all want to be on the same place for a Saturday. Scottish football, what you expected it to be when you first got ready to move up north? What, would you, what did you first envisage, and how is it, how is it different to what you compare? Um, I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't really, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't really know. It, it was a step into the unknown. I d didn't know any of the players that up here, apart from obviously the lads in the conference. But it was just. Like I said, just come up here and just do my best. Um, obviously, I watched a few games on TV. I knew knew what it's going to be like. I knew the size of the clubs up here. So, like I said, it was just one of them. Where I just thought, yeah, just come up and do my best. Chances to go into stadiums with 50,000, 60,000 fans as well, obviously, must be a big draw for you to come up here as well. Oh, yeah, huge. I mean, when I, the first game I played at Rangers when we walked out and it's like goosebump kind of stuff. So, it was, yeah, like I said, it was it's brilliant, those sort of arenas to play football in. Um, like I said, I'd, I recommend it to anyone that wants to come up here and experience that. It's some that like it's brilliant, yeah. What have you made of the team's start to the season and first win on Saturday? Good to get that off your back and now start to try and gather momentum going forward. Yeah, I, I, I think we've had an excellent start to the season. Um, I said, bar really the first half on Saturday, I, I think we've been we've been decent. Um, like I said, we just obviously the the first win in the league was huge. Um, like I said, the boys did excellent last Saturday, getting a result in the end. Um, like I said, now hopefully we can kick on now, and we've got a few home games now to try and really set a marker down and get ourselves up that league. How is it? How is it in the squad when you know you've started the first couple of games, you've not won yet, and people start to look at the, the zero points on the board? Does it get to you as a, as a team, or do you? How is your mentality going into the game when you know you get to win? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, it does does play on your mind. You do say it if you like. I said you 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 haven't got any points in like, like it's all right talking about. Yeah, we're going to do all right. We're going to do all right. But until you get the, the points on the board, it's it's nothing. So, like I said, once you get that first win, I think that that was that breeds confidence throughout the team. I think. You talked about the Rangers game and you had goosebumps when you were coming on. Um, is that something you've never experienced before? Or no, 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 I haven't experienced anything like that. Obviously, I've watched. Uh, Games at Wembley and uh, FA Cup final and that, but that was nothing. Like the atmosphere was unbelievable. I mean, like I said, I was still buzzing on the Wednesday after the game after that. So, yeah, like I said, it, it was it was good. Yeah. Tell us from someone on the outside. Tell us what the conference is like down south. The conference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's tough, really tough. Like I said, we we played two conference sides in pre-season and got beat. Um, like I said, it is it is a tough league. Um, it's there's a lot of games Saturday, Tuesday. Obviously, the pitches aren't as good as what they are up here. Um, again, facilities and stadiums and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it is um, it is a tough league, but it does it does shape you in, in your future career, I think. And you've always uh, is Exeter, Forest Green, Grimsby, the three clubs. No, Salisbury. Salisbury, sorry. Yeah. So, it, would you now want Motherwell to be a settled base for you? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, like I said, the. the Every, everyone here at the club is on the same page. If you do well, you go. So that's that's no different to anyone at this football club. Um, I think it's a great model to work on. Um, like I said, everyone here at the football club gives 110% every day in training and stuff. So hopefully, 
like I said, all of us can, can do well and move on. What's Stephen Robinson like to work under? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's, he's a very passionate manager. Um, like I said, he's, uh, he makes sure we're at it every day, and if we're not, he tells you. <laughs> Yeah, um, terms. yeah, he tells us. Yeah, so now nah, he's good. We, we all. The main thing is we all know what we're doing. Um, hopefully, hope you can. You guys can see that from the side. I mean, we're very organised. We know exactly where we are at the right time. So, so yeah, that's that's yeah, he's good. And you talked about kicking on now after that win uh, at the weekend. It's. <clears throat> do you think the, the squad is now that phrase of like so many new players coming in? They all kind of know what the roles are and how to adapt in the roles amongst. Seven, eight, nine, ten players. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, obviously the gaffer brought in a, a lot of players just in pre-season. It does take time um, to know everybody's game and and where where everyone's got to be. Like I said, like fish, like different crosses for multi and fishing Bowie, and it's just it's just all different. So, like I said, now like I said we've had what, six games now, and we're like we're slowly finding our feet now, and and hopefully we're all going to be on the same page Saturday. Mentioned Saturday just very quickly in the bit. A tough game against the side you're, you know, they've not got a state of manager, interim manager. <coughs> they always want to impress, always want to get the manager. So it's always going to be a tough game Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're obviously they're a massive football club up here. Um, but like I said, Gaffer, we'll have, we'll do our research and we've got the DVDs on them and we'll be straight up to the training ground today and we'll uh, we'll be ready for them Saturday, yeah. Good man. Good man. Cheers, Cheers. Thank you very much.